I completed a $10,000 buy of this stock that could be part of the next big stock market wave and the next big theme in the stock market. We had the COVID wave. We had the oil wave. We had the EV wave, cybersecurity, even agriculture. We even had a monkeypox wave theme in the market. And I think this one is the next to cause multiple 500 to 1,000 percent runners in the stock market. I was reading this comment sec the comment section of my previous video, and this is the top comment I noticed. Dude, if we can keep up the past couple of days for a couple of months, you will literally change my life. Your calls have been insane. The Discord is a gift. Thank you again, my brother. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for being in the Discord. I couldn't have this all without all of you that are watching my videos, and I appreciate everybody here for watching my videos. The support lately has actually been steadily through the roof. You guys are supporting the videos like crazy. I, I have, you know, every now and then there will be a hater, but I don't care. I brush them to the side. All I focus on is the love. I can't thank you all enough for coming by hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel. 2023 is going to be a huge year for all of us. January has started off really good. And while I'm talking about the comment section, make sure you do not fall for scammers. Do not fall for WhatsApp scammers. And anybody that's DMing you using my name, asking you randomly for crypto or Bitcoin or anything like that, my real account on YouTube is highlighted with a check mark. If you see anything like this, in the comment section, it's a pure scam. Do not get scammed and lose your money. I saw a post earlier on Twitter today where somebody got scammed for $25,000 thinking that this user would send the scammer all of their money and then they would trade for them thinking it was somebody else. So please do not do that. And congrats to anybody who has the notification bell on the channel. We were able to cover the due diligence on comms, C-O-M-S, before the major move higher today. It went down to our six cent level and it ripped right after it. Like I said, I said six cent, that six cent range is a beautiful ad area. It went down there, ended up running 58% to 12 cents today. You would have had 60, 70% gains if you added at those levels. This is why it ran. We are currently, this is a comms Twitter. This is not COSM, this is comms. We are currently exploring options to fight illegal naked shorts and the manipulation of our shares. Stay tuned. That stay tuned makes me think that they have some sort of news coming soon. We'll see. I do believe this one does have more potential since it seems they're preparing to give us an update on what they plan to do to combat naked shorting. We know what HLBZ, GNS, and a few others, you know, we know how they reacted to this news. So. I would like to see a nice big pullback on comms before the next move higher. If we get under 10 cents, that's the first big support is 10 cents. You want to see it hold that for another move higher. But if it breaks that, I'm looking at 0.094 support. If we break below that, I'm looking for 0.087. But the most ideal spot right now would be under 8 cent in this 7 cent range. Remember, they do have a stock split approved and it will likely split next month or even earlier, which could cause a fall on that announcement. This is not a long-term hold, in my opinion, only a trade. You always got to be careful with these low-priced penny stocks that are well under a dollar and, and under 10 cents, be, and make sure you're just riding the way for profits on these. Don't get caught holding the bag. And you can even use a stop loss to prevent you know, a bigger loss. And if your stop doesn't get hit, then you just ride the wave. If your stop gets hit, then you're out. But if it doesn't get hit, then you just ride the wave. So it's a good way to prevent a big loss, prevent those 50, 60 percent losses that some of these penny stocks will do over time. So, for example, a WISA announced a one for 100 reverse split, and then it caused the stock to drop 19 percent on the day. I will only revisit these reverse split stocks after the split and after it goes down after the split for a nice bounce. I don't want to do anything with these before the split. Quick reminder that investors are showing up to the SEC headquarters tomorrow to have a peaceful, pro peaceful protest against market manipulation. This is going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. COSM did post news today. They hit a high of 732 today, and they retained services of West Christian to review naked short selling and stock manipulation. West Christian was one of the lawyers that the GNS CEO interviewed about naked shorting recently. I do believe, C believe COSM has pretty solid fundamentals right now. They have a lot of cash. They have lowered debt. So keep an eye on ticker COSM. This one has been doing very well for us recently. 
there's a new wave brewing in the stock market, in my opinion, and I personally personally believe we're still very, very early. These waves, they come and they go, but they can cause a lot of stocks that are related to the wave, to the theme, to rally. For example, remember the big oil theme, the big oil wave where nearly all oil stocks were exploding one by one. This caused INDO to run 1300% from like $2 or a dollar to like nearly, I think it was nearly like $50 per share. Remember the monkey pox wave <laughs> that we had a monkey pox wave that caused any stock that had something to do with monkey pox to rally that ca- that caused gov X to run 500%. Remember the EV wave, everybody knows the EV wave, the EV hype that caused Neo and many others to rally, you know, 3,300% Neo ran from a dollar to $60. Remember the crypto wave that caused a riot to rally 6,000% from, you know, under a dollar to multi-dollar. Remember the cannabis wave where SNDL ran 700%. Remember this solar and clean energy wave that caused a stock like Sing to run 1,200%. The next major wave in the market is the AI sector. AI sector, in my opinion, AI is being brought to the forefront right now because of a new platform called ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? It's a highly popular AI-based program that people use for generating dialogues. The chatbot has a language-based model that the developer fine-tunes for human interaction in a conversational manner. This is crazy technology, and a lot of people are interested in AI right now, and I think the wave is going to blow up very soon. People are using this for their college essays, and the the chat GBT bot, this AI bot, is doing very well on these college essays. It's literally writing essays for them. ChatGPT passes exams from law and business schools. ChatGPT passes MBA exam. ChatGPT or GPT, my bad, can write code. Amazon is now getting very worried about their new competitor, ChatGPT, which proves to me that this is a real deal. And it was requested that employees not share any Amazon confidential information because they're worried that ChatGPT is going to get their hands on this and start using it in their code. A freelancer, a freelance writer says ChatGPT wrote a $600 article in just 30 seconds, and he's worried that he's going to be losing his job. A lot of people are genuinely worried right now that they're going to be losing their job to ChatGPT. But we can take advantage of this and make some money in the stock market as always. All of this, you know, hype around ChatGPT has caused AI Google searches to skyrocket to a new all-time high this month, and I don't believe this is the peak yet. I think we have a lot more eyes to get on AI. I think AI interest is going to climb significantly this year in 2023 and well beyond. Searches for AI-related freelance services were up 1,400%. It took Netflix 3.5 years to reach 1 million users, Facebook 10 months, Spotify 5 months, Instagram 2.5 months, but it only took ChatGPT 5 days to reach 1 million users. It's growing rapidly, and there's still a lot of people that don't even know it exists yet. Interest is rising across the world for ChatGPT. There was the first taste of this AI theme taking place in the stock market today, and I think there's much more to come. BuzzFeed, ticker BZFD, around 150% on ChatGPT News. It's a 290 million market cap. Zom in the Discord was able to catch this yesterday before the market closed. When they posted their first PR, they had two PRs, one yesterday in the after hours and one today. If you want access to all of these stocks before the big run, News in real time, scanners, everything you need to know, and a bunch of like-minded people. Use the link in the top pin comment. There's not a Discord out there that's better for this one for penny stocks. There's no Discord out there that's better. Make sure you join the Discord right now. Link in the top pin comment. BuzzFeed is to use ChatGPT Creator OpenAI to help come up with some of its content. That was the PR today at 12 o'clock. Be prepared to see more companies post PRs like this. Just like companies were posting PRs about naked shorting to get attention on their stock, I think it's going to happen with AI very soon. Today, I bought over 600 shares of AI stock for about $10,000. 
to be a part of the AI wave. And this is where the video title comes in. AI stock is what I bought. C3 AI is used by the US Air Force, Shell, and multiple multi billion dollar companies. And if investors are going to start going for AI stocks, AI will be one of the first to benefit from this wave. They have multiple big name customers, including the US Army, US Air Force, and the Department of Defense. Revenue was 62 million, and they have a whopping 858 million cash on hand. They almost have a billion cash. It's a billion market cap right now. I believe AI will be a great long term hold for the AI sector. And if it booms coming up soon, that one is going to boom. Here are my top three AI penny stocks that I believe could do very well from this new wave FRGT, FOXO, and GFAI. I want to see these a bit lower from these current levels before taking an entry, but check out the DD FRGT, a 3 million market cap. This one is very undervalued, even without this AI boom. It's at a 3 million market cap, but they project 36 to 42 million revenue this year. They do have trouble holding gains. It's up 14% today. So you may want to look for a pullback, but they did 30 million revenue last year and they are powered by AI and big data. So keep an eye on FRGT. Next one, FOXO, Foxo Technologies at a 15 million market cap. I like this one under 50 cents, but if it holds that 50 cent support, it may not go much lower. This is an extremely beaten down D SPAC, which has also been, these D SPACs have also been bouncing back recently. This one hasn't had much of a bounce back yet. And including the AI sector right now has a lot going for it. You can see this is from the website, the power of AI. There was an 8K file two weeks ago for Foxo that they have sold a portion of their business for $5 million, but there has been no press release yet. There's no guarantee that they will ever post a PR on this, but many have not noticed that filing. A lot of people don't look into the filings. They just look at the headlines, but we're looking into the filings. And if they put out a PR that, you know, we sold uh, our piece of our business for 5 million, that could, you know, get a lot of more, get a lot more eyes on FOX. So I really like that one. Next stock ticker, GFAI. We've talked about this one a lot in the past. It's up 14% of the day. So we might want to look for a pullback on this but we're still waiting for their 15 million revenue robotics and AI acquisition. And this is the best time to release an AI acquisition. It would be huge for GFAI eyes on that one as well. Next stock, Eyeless. I just want, this is not an AI stock. I just wanted to mention it because they have a, they, they had a small move today, a little tiny move today, over eight cents. Finally, some movement for Eyeless but they have their second annual shareholder meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Last sh shareholder meeting, they did announce some positive news. Hopefully we get that this time around. Make sure you drop a quick like on this video. If you want 15 free stocks, there's a link in the top pin comment to join Moomoo. You can trade pre-market and after hours. Go over there, get your 15 free stocks and join Moomoo and join the Discord with a link in the top pin comment for the next stock pick. That is it for me. Peace.